So last year Adidas released the ZX 2K Boost and this is just one of those shoes that I thought was a sleeper out there. It was pretty comfortable for what you got here. The encased boost on it was actually uh, pretty pretty nice and squishy. Uh, and this is a uh, triple black colorway that I have right here. But now they actually released a new version of the, uh, the ZX 2K Boost 2.0. So here we have the 2.0 and I wanted to give you guys kind of a review of this sneaker and compare it to the first one, let you guys know some of the things I like about the shoe and some things that I don't like. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the review. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. Hopefully you guys are having a good day out there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't thus far. And if you guys want to buy any of these sneakers out here, check the link in the description. I also want to let you guys know about the end of the season sale at Adidas right now. It's really good. They actually have quite a few pairs of sneakers on sale. And now you can use a code linked in the description for an extra 10% off of your order. Some of the things are already 50% off. Now you add an extra 10% off. The savings is actually really nice out there. So check the link in the description to go over to my website and shop Collective Kicks or just directly over to Adidas and see what top deals they have over there. You can go to Adidas and get the ZX 2K Boost 2.0 or the 1.0, which is on sale now in a lot of different colorways. They had so many different colorways of this shoe, it was nuts. And now we're seeing some, uh, some cool colorways of the 2.0 as well. So have a pair here for a review for you guys. Couple things to note, this is actually a pretty cool like glow in the dark colorway. The boost on the midsole glows and I thought that was really rad. I also really like this colorway. I love the fuse material on the upper that does that crazy fade from that like purple and it fades to blue towards the back. I mean this colorway in my opinion it just draws a lot of attention and it's really colorful. I also like the neon laces and like the uh, the neon pull tab on the back that says Adidas ZX on it back here. Looking at the shoes side by side with the uh, first version of the ZX 2K Boost, I mean it's actually totally different ground up build uh, from the first version. So so I definitely like that they actually changed things up and made it look completely unique. They used the fuse materials that were the overlays on the first one and took it to the next level on the next. Added a lot of cool colors to them on some colorways and other colorways they're d definitely a lot more plain which is preferable depending on who you are. Then one of the big improvements for me personally is the tongue. I love the fact that they went with the detached tongue route. It's kind of a bigger tongue too so it kind of just sticks out and makes it look more lifestyle like versus the, the previous version it's attached right here so it was a little bit snug and harder to get on your foot right through this area at least for myself. So detached tongue definitely a huge win uh, for myself. The other thing that's a huge plus another nod to the lifestyle side of things is the cushioning around the collar and the tongue of the shoe is really plush comparison to the rigidness of the first version. So those are two massive improvements. Now moving down to the midsole this is where they actually change things up a little bit and it's weird because it actually looks very very similar. It looks almost like the same I mean the same cuts but it does uh, stick out a little bit further, a little bit more stylistically on the new version versus the, the first version. On the outsole traction, it looks pretty much the same, but they added a lot more rubber around the casing of the shoe. So it does feel a little bit more supportive than the previous one, but as a result, the extra rubber around the encasing also does lose some of that squishy feel that you got from the first version. So if you got the first version and it was a little too soft and squishy, the second version is going to be preferable for you because it doesn't feel as soft and squishy on feet. So from the weight perspective, this one's a heavy one at 15 ounces. The previous version is 13 ounces, so this is a good two ounces heavier because of the added rubber. But some people might actually end up liking that. It makes it a little bit more durable, probably lasts a little bit longer and a little bit more supportive as well. So a couple words from Adidas, what they say about the shoe. Ultra comfortable shoes detailed with vibrant pops of color. These Adidas ZX shoes may not be about speed anymore, but the running inspired style still has the look of it. Bright colors flow throughout the textile upper to add a spark of flavor to your daily moves. All of it rides on energy returning boost cushioning. This product is made from recycled products. 20% of the pieces used to make the upper are made with a minimum of 50% recycled material. And this colorway specifically is Core Black, Pulse Yellow, and Sonic Ink. And I like that Sonic Ink one probably the best. Full disclosure, I did get this pair gifted to me from Adidas. Thank you to Adidas for sending these over. Uh, but I will ask you guys the question, is it worth buying them or not? That is up to you guys. At the end of the day, uh, stylistically, I think that they look better than the first version. However, I do like that squishy feel of the midsole from the first version better than on the second one. If you're looking for something a little bit more durable or more support, 
The second version probably wins there as well. And then also the tongue of the shoe is really a nice added touch that it's detached with the addition of having it be glow in the dark is super rad as well. So very cool colorway, really good on feet. Something I wore publicly and some people were asking me about the shoes because they just thought they looked really cool. It's a comfortable pair of sneakers that has a little tank-like feel to the back right here. If you want something a little bit lighter and you can feel the boost a little bit better in, uh, you could go with the Pure Boost 21. This is actually a really good one as well. I will have a review on these coming up uh, pretty soon, but I was happy to get a pair of these in hand too. Uh, to be able to just wear them around and then give you guys kind of an afterthought uh, of me wearing them. But that's uh, the video on the ZX 2K Boost V2. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. And again, link in the description if you guys are interested in buying a pair of the V1 or the V2. And hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more sneaker videos. Uh, since I'm working with Adidas more, if there's some sneaker models that you guys would like to see me review, please leave a comment in the comment section what those sneakers are so I can take a look at them. There's some really fun ones out there that they've been releasing in 2021 so far that really haven't got a lot of shine. So any of them that draw like any specific interest to you guys, leave a comment. One specifically for me is that Ultra Boost 21 the, the Parlay Ultra Boost one with the detached tongue. Definitely got to get a pair of those to check out. But any other ones, leave a comment, let me know. And thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day. Peace, guys.